everything is a magnetic field. We are a magnetic field. The computer is a magnetic field. Light is a magnetic field. Sound is a magnetic field. Everything is expressed in frequencies. And the magnetic fields has rhythms and beats are incredibly complex and difficult. But when they mix, something exists. Flame, fire is a, is a magnetic field that brings two things together, oxygen, thick. So what I'm saying, the rhythm of things make them exist and manifest. So what I'm saying, art it manifests itself by rhythm. Architecture will not be architecture without the rhythm of a space, like a low ceiling, a high, a weave. The, 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 when you enter to a beautiful space, you see the rhythm between the, 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 you know, the, the heights and the distance and the spaces and the light and how it plays with the rhythm. Sometimes it's shadow, sometimes it's brightful, sometimes it's high ceiling, sometimes it's small. How it makes you feel that, that's what I'm interested. But rhythm in music or in film, I will say that one dialogue, a great dialogue read with bad rhythm between two actors, it's a horrendous dialogue. And Shakespeare written the same scene when you see it in a shitty theater with bad actors, it's terrible. But you see Shakespeare with blah, 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 and that rhythm, the spaces between. And I think rhythm is silence. It's not to feel things. It's when to really just leave the space for something to resonate or something has to be. So yeah, I think cinema in a way is, I think the absolute manifestation of rhythm in everything. Everything from the lipstick color of the actress to the angle of the camera to the way the music goes in and the, the one frame more or one less frame of an editing that manifests completely different than other things. So yeah, I think rhythm is is gone.